And when the day was now far spent, his disciples came unto him and said, This is a desert place, and now the time is far past. Well, that's where we've come. <clears throat> this has been a desert place, talking about this world. This is a, a place where we're traveling through. This was never meant to be home to us. There's nothing of eternal benefit growing here. It's a desert place. And now the day is far spent. It's late for the present heavens and earth. The time is late now. It's twilight. And these things that can be shaken are about to pass away to make way for new heavens and a new earth. I see, uh, as I look through the crowd, especially at these renewals, I see many brethren that I've grown up with that are, and some I don't see because they're with the Lord now. And, uh, you know, time is like a weaver's shuttle. It passes very rapidly. In the back here, I have a, a grandson that's two years old. It'll be in a wink of an eye, and he'll have gray hair and grandchildren of his own. If the Lord tarries, it goes by that quickly. So the time is far spent. So I want to exhort you with the same words the Lord exhorted here. And he answered and said unto them, this is to the disciples. <clears throat> they had asked what to do about the people. They said, send them away, that they may go into the country round about and into the villages and buy themselves bread, for they have nothing to eat. But Jesus answered and said unto them, give ye them to eat. So that's how I want to exhort each of you. In whatever role you have in the body of Christ, whether you speak a little or speak a lot or you don't speak at all, whether uh, whatever you may do, feed the church of God which he hath purchased with his own blood. Amen. But Jesus told Peter, feed my sheep, feed my lambs. And Peter repeated in his epistle, feed the flock of God which is among you. Feed ye them on this gospel that we've been talking about this week. This, this gospel that we are looking into that is very profound, that we have not search the, the boundaries of it yet. Feed the people of God with this. And this will get us through this dry and barren land that we're in. So I, I leave you with that exhortation. Let's pray. <clears throat> Our Father in heaven, we thank you for the glorious gospel of the blessed God. We thank you that in your great mercy and your grace, you have first revealed it unto us and given us to believe it and then called us into fellowship with you and sharing it with others and proclaiming it to one another and exploring the profoundness of it. We thank you, Father, for our Lord Jesus Christ, whom is the center of the gospel and that the covenant is in his blood. We pray that you would continue to bless our gathering, that this would be a fruitful, fruitful time, and we pray in Jesus' name, amen. amen.